Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. down there. Those are members of one of the world's largest and oldest medieval recreation societies. And every now and then, they like to get together and camp out with a few thousand of their closest friends. And they do it in style. Oh my gosh, there were these huge cannabis pavilions. Everybody had their flags flying. This is the SCA, the Society for Creative Anachronism. And it is the weirdest, coolest thing that you've never heard of. It's where you'll find unrivaled craftsmanship and artwork. It's the Rin Fair that everybody is a participant in. Those who play the game combine the research of an academic with the hands-on work for reenactor to create the most vivid living history experience possible. So why haven't you heard of this group before? Many filmmakers have come before me and tried to capture this, and for very good reason. There are a few things in this world that so gloriously lend themselves to cinema, like warfare and the SCA. Everything you see is real. The armor is real, the hits are real, and the fighters feel it each time. And it's one of the only sports that men and women can participate in from the age of 18 to whenever you feel like it. And yet what many filmmakers before me have failed to capture, either through lack of means or lack of trying, is the untold respect that these members all have for one another. Chivalry is very much alive in the SCA. Most movies miss the point entirely, so this is how a lot of people see the group. Knights and LARPers and what have you. They're probably functioning at 13, 14 level of maturity. Pirates, they like pirates, usually. Yeah, I think that they have uh, some kind of psychological aberration. So how will I tell you the story of this group? By covering every detail of it? Impossible. Probably take you about a decade. Instead, you'll see this organization through its people. There's a piece of history in every person out there. Take someone who has just joined the group, follow them for a year, and they will be a different person by the end. Find someone who's been in the group for five, six, seven years, a decade, you'll still see them learning and growing. Find a veteran who's been in the game since the very beginning, and they'll have stories for you of triumph and defeat, wins and losses. These are the stories that I am here to tell. But I can't. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene 400 years later. And as filmmakers know what Shakespeare was getting at. In the prologue to Henry V, Shakespeare basically apologizes to his audience. The bard himself apologized that he had low production values. He was trying to take them to the Battle of Agincourt, and all they had to do it was a stage. How can I possibly try to do this amazing group justice? I can't do it on my own. I'm one man with one camera, an idea, and the budget of an artist. Nothing. Maybe you're someone who just now found out about the game and you want to see more. Well, this film's for you. Maybe you're someone who's been in the game for many years now and you want to see it done justice. Maybe it's your story that I'll follow. Maybe you're a studio head and you want to finance a new movie. Well, I've got Oscar-worthy tales of human triumph. And just for kicks, we'll put more people on the field than Braveheart ever had. Join me in this. We'll show them this is not just a kid's game. Together, you and I will prove to the world that this is no fantasy.